So hi guys, uh, now uh, we are able to um, round our uh, calculations to two decimal points and that's the results, those are the results we're getting. Now let's take that a step further and the problem is with those results that um, I don't know what which 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 is you know like uh, what is this and what is that and what is that so I would like to add some text to those results and the way let's start with the first one uh, I would like that is obviously the kilometer to miles conversion so you know I would like to write kilometer to miles and then colon close that and plus so now the danger of leaving that like this this is probably gonna throw an error because I'm trying to uh, combine uh, a string with uh, a string with a number and uh, Python would have a problem with that um, I would have now let's try it out first of all I'm just gonna save and run it and yeah you see we got an we got an error here because we're trying to combine a string with a float now how do I get around this problem I'd have to cast this to a string and casting this to a string means just str that's a function again uh, the string function which converts it just requires one parameter and it converts all of this calculation all of this calculation gets converted to a string so we see here now this is a perfect example of um, having multiple functions nested within each other so first of all we have a calculation that's that's obvious then we have the function round which takes two parameters and then beyond the function round we have the function string which converts all of this rounded calculation to a string and then furthermore all of this is then uh, encompassed in the in the in the print function which combines basically um, the that text or string with that string and now basically both of them being strings now we will have the concatenation that I was like looking for now let's try that out I'm saving and then f5 and now you see that is exactly what I wanted now we can apply the same uh, kind of logic to the remaining um, three guys so and here we got it and if I now just run this application then we have text and you know some explanation to our results showing everybody oh okay those are the miles those are the yards and so on great now another problem I had with my uh, with this application or I have still have with this application is, is that you know it's not the user who's always changing the value of um, of, of, of the, kilo, of the uh, kilometers but it's actually the programmer himself I mean what, what, what bothers me about this is that actually you have to as a programmer actually modify this kilometer value for this uh, code to uh, carry out different calculations than previously now how can I get around this or what can I do better well we can ask the user to submit a kilometer value he wishes or she wishes to convert and the way to get inputs from users is very simple and let's make some space up here and let's let's call that kilometer input and that just requires one function called input and let's just uh, close the parents and what what this function input requires is just one parameter which basically is the text that the user sees before inputting so uh, let's put please enter kilometer value and close uh, the string so that's one thing and then kilometer value is no more a constant that 15 but it is kilometer input now here comes a piece of advice from me input kilometer input is basically 
defined as the input that the user inputs. Now it can be, and I can't remember, I think input returns a string, but I am not so sure. But a lot of times you're often not sure what that or this function returns. But you know one thing, you know you need a number. So if input returns a string, kilometer input is not going to be of any value because all these calculations depend on, on that being a number. So regardless whether you know that input returns a, a string or whether you know or you don't know, the best thing is every time you get values from somewhere, make sure they are in the format that you need. So I need to have kilometers as a number um, and I'd have two choices. I, either I can change it to an int, and that's the same way we did it with strings here, but now I'm converting a, a potential string to, a, to an int, to an integer, or better yet, you know, to allow a user to input, uh, you know, uh, kilometers with, with decimal places, I would convert that to a float. So a float means that a user can input 5.3 kilometers and so on, and that would be then handled in the calculation. So now, whereas an int just limits the whole calculations to, 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 uh, to kilometers in digits or as digits. So now we got that here and uh, let's, let's try it out. So now uh, for this script now does not have a fixed kilometer number, but it's basically dependent on what the user inputs. I've saved that, now let's run that application. And you see now here comes the text, please enter kilometer value, and now I can enter anything, let's say 27, and all the calculations take place. And if I run the, if I run the application again, again, now I can use a, another number, let's say 36, and all the calculations. So every time I can run this application, and it will get me the results that I need. And that is a big advantage because you as a programmer do not need to do anything anymore. It's up to the user to run the script and input the numbers he wishes to convert. And uh, because I've allowed it to take floats, I should also be able to convert floats. Right. Right. Now, um, one thing what's bothering me is this here. I would like to make that more compact. And what bothers me is that I have to repeat every every time, you know, I have to repeat everything here four times because I'm doing four conversions. Is there, my question is, is there a better way of handling this? Uh, yes, there is. And here I will introduce you to a new concept, which is basically a list. In some other programming languages, it is called uh, an array, and or, or, or it has different names. This concept has different names in, in different programming languages. But here in Python, we have multiple types of lists. And the first one would be the list itself. And the way a list is, a list is basically nothing else but a normal variable. Let me let me create a new variable called conversion factors, for instance. And to create an empty list, you just, uh, you know, uh, open and close a, a rectangular bracket. Now that's an empty list. And the way lists work, if I put in, you can put anything in lists and everything is separate with a comma. So for instance, I can have 12, that would be the first element. Then I could have ABC, that would be the second element. Uh, I could have um, uh, a float, that would be the third element and so on. So that's now a list. Uh, oh, sorry, that should be a comma, not a semicolon. Now, if I wish to access an element in that list, all I have to do, we can try it out here, print, and then conversion factors,
and then open bracket and you give the index and indexing starts with zero so basically 12 is the zeroth element abc is the first element 23.09 is the second element so if i wish to access the 12 then i would say zero close bracket and close the param for print so let me just uh, comment that stuff out for for a while or or just leave it yeah because I'd, I'd have to comment everything out uh, okay let's try it out save it so f5 and I'd have to enter kilometer value let's say 15 and now you see it printed the 12 from uh, because that is the zeroth element if I need to to print the 2309 it is, I'll just have to change that to two, save. Let's run the application again. Enter any kilometer value. And now, uh, what happened here? Something happened here. Let, let me just run it again. So if I enter 15, and now you see it printed the 2309. So that's the way list function, a uh, list function. So let's remove that sample print. And let's put our conversions into that list. So my first element would be that. The second element would be that. And remember, lists start with zero. So that would be, that was the zeroth element. That's the first element. Now we're doing the second element. And the third element. So I need a comma, right? I can basically remove that completely. And now here in my calculations, I don't use those old variables that are just removed, but I'm just gonna use conversion factors. And the index. So basically that is index zero, the conversion to yards, is basically the first just put in a one kilometer to feed is the two and kilometer to nautical mines and miles is the three so what I've done I have just removed let me get them back again just for nostalgic reasons those are the variables we had. Those are the variables we had to do the conversions. Now I got rid of all those variables. In this case, there are four. I put all conversion factors in a list and I'm using the list indices to get these conversion factors. And what that renders, that makes my, uh, my code way more compact and I don't need as many variables. And I've got all my conversions factors in one place. Okay, and I mean, let's save that and let's run the application. F5. So enter collaborator value. Let's enter the same one as here before, 15. Uh, sorry, I must be here. Yeah, 15. And I'm getting exactly the same values as before. Let's try the 2.51 if you wish. And 2.51. And I'm exactly the same values as before. So no change so you see now we've made our code way more compact than before and in the next video we're going to even make it more compact by using lists and other types of lists